YouTubers, Mike Martin's here. Mike Martin's channel. Sorry, somebody backed out into the street. I was making a video and uh, there was a, a gigantic vehicle parked on the side of the road. I'm just driving through this main road. Somebody backed right in front of me. I slammed my brakes. Everything on the seat went flying. I'm lucky I didn't have a coffee here because that would have gone flying. But that is, yeah, but that guy doesn't live here. He's, he's passing through a gas station, take a little look around. He's in the rush to pay his visas off. He's got lots of visas to pay. He's got that truck to pay off too. So, I mean, lots of bills to pay. So anyways, what do we got going on, guys? So I got a lot of people in the comment section uh, commenting, uh, especially from the United States. When we talk about in Canada how much we pay in tax and, you know, uh, what we pay at the pumps and now property tax going up. Interrupter! So anyways, let's, 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 let's talk really frank here. Toronto property tax going up, right? Okay, so... Yeah, so, okay, so let's say interest rates go down and they start, like, making it more affordable for people to buy and they do a 50-year amortization or interest-only mortgages to keep that housing bubble going. What's the point when the property taxes are so high? You know, what's the point? You're, pay you're paying... So I, I had a talk with my mom this morning. She's paying, actually, $8,300 a year in property tax, okay? My aunt is paying $10,200 in property tax in Toronto. I did not know this. I, I thought it was like, like I hear it when I, in merit, $1,400 a year. Wow, <laughs> wow. So what they're gonna do is they don't want these prices to come down because if prices of homes come down, and I brought this up on the show a gazillion times, the price, wow, this guy almost swerved into the other lane and almost hit an oncoming car. I gotta face this camera forward, man. Yeah, so anyways, yeah, so they're going to go ahead and raise, uh, if property prices go down, property t uh, property taxes go up to offset the uh, the budgets for these cities. These cities have a, a surplus. They don't have a surplus. They have budgets that they work with for their their schooling, their, their transportation, their this, their that, their that. The government, the state, whatever, they want to hold the schools. They have to hold the schools. Because then they could control what curriculum the kid, the students learn in school, right? They need to hold the schools. They need to hold um, uh, our hospitals. Because then you start getting private hospitals and people are like, what? That guy at that public hospital told you that? No, we're going to do this and you're going to be fine. You know, because it's better to get a second opinion that way. Because not everything is under a, 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 a specific curriculum that it's under, right? That it's under. You know what I'm trying to say, right? So now, my question to you guys is... In Canada, if you're a Canadian, is our health care free? And if it's free, to what point? Because, because, um, like I paid for ambulance when my wife went, went into the hospital. I had to pay for the ambulance to come pick her up. I had to pay for the ambulance ride to the other hospital because it didn't have, no one could do nothing about it here. Right? Things like that we have to pay for. Like, it's not completely free. And then I'm paying the BC, I was paying up until last year. I think they scrapped it. The BC health care. Hi, can we get an extra large coffee with one cream? One cream? Yeah. Maybe? That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my wallet's on the floor there. Yeah, so some car... Okay. There's this gigantic vehicle parked. Huge. Like a dump truck parked on the side of the street. So I'm just driving. This guy backs right out into traffic. Doesn't even... Not even a care in the world if there's anybody there. I slam my brakes. The guy behind me almost hits me. The guy behind me slams his brakes. Almost hits me. And it's like, holy smokes. But, you know, entitlement is everywhere, right? Hi. Good morning. How are you, my brother? How are you? Good, good. Okay. Working. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. See you tomorrow. Oops. I don't know why I tapped that on my visa. I should have used my debit. Damn, I moved my debit where my visa was. I hate when I do that. I hate doing that. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Got one credit card, and it's my company card. And sometimes you get flagged for buying personal stuff on your business uh, accounts, but I'll just have to explain the coffee. But everything else is all business. I don't, I don't need to use it for personal. Pay it off at the end of the month. So I have an option on my visa. We'll go back on topic, but I have an option on my visa with the points I have. I could pay down 6000 I think $6,800 on my credit card, which I don't have to pay because my credit card I paid off at the end of the month. It's only 1000 2000 a month I pay for orders and stuff, right? And I pay it off at the end of the month. So I could pay like almost $7,600, $6,800 and something dollars 
Uh, I could use it to pay down. I could pay off. Like I pay. I could use it uh, fractionally to pay off my credit card if I want. When I use it and use the points back to pay it off, and I could get six thousand eight hundred dollars worth of product for me to resell in my store, or I could use it in travel miles or like travel, uh, like eleven thousand seven hundred, or it's like close to twelve thousand dollars worth for me to travel with if I want to do that instead. You get more travel points than you do for uh, like payback dollars on the credit card, and that's really good. I've had this credit card now for in and around 10 years and I've never used the points on it. I use it to place my orders and at the old store I was placing like $17,000 orders every month and another order would be $6,000 for the month, you know? So, a lot of work. I worked hard at that, at that place on the coast because it was really hard to find good help. I had, to, you know, a couple of guys that helped me on there were really good but then I had a couple of guys that were just absolutely disaster nightmares crying babies just just there for the money and don't care about doing the job yeah but yeah so back on topic is our health care free in Canada that's the question um, we pay so much I mean if we were if we were to actually get if we were to fairly pay for everything and property taxes were fair and this and that and we didn't have and our health care wasn't free if you were to if people were wise to, to save their money properly they'd have a lot of money fast once you start seeing how much you save on a daily basis when, it, when you're not paying such high high absorbent taxes. But you know what? Maybe it's safe this way because people will just be uh, unsensible with their finances. So this way, the healthcare is free, but, but, you, you know what I'm saying? And then now, they're, they're going to start canceling people's, oh, 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 it was an article that was said to me. They're, I'm going to read it. They're going to start canceling OHIP, Ontario Health uh, in Plan or whatever. If you leave Canada now, your Canadian health care will not cover you no more. You have to use local health care. So if you go down to the States and you give them your Canadian health care card, they will look at you and say, we are not doing nothing. We cannot accept this no more because your government won't be paying. So that's another thing. You guys look it up. There's an article, I think. I'm not sure who wrote the article, but it is legit. I did a background check. Just to make sure, they're, they're, you know, it wasn't uh, Mickey Mouse. But yes, it, it, it's a big deal. So you guys have to keep an eye on that. Uh, okay, I gotta wake up. Uh, trends in the housing market was a hit last night. Trends in the housing market was an absolute hit. What a hit. I wonder if they, yeah, the truck's still there. The same guy that pulled out of the traffic is still at the gas station there. Wow. You guys, I should face this camera forward every morning when I'm talking so you don't have to see my fat face. You guys can see it for yourself and you'll be like, wow. But yeah, like I said, it's it's a lot of uh, uh, people coming through just like, oh, I'm going to merit. Yeah. Yeah, there's a guy pull, pushing shopping carts out in front of my house every morning, picking up junk and, and this and that. And there's bum fights, fighting over cigarettes in front of my house. But I'm going to go to marriage. Yeah. Show them how it's done. So everyone plays the big shots. And then when it comes to, to the nitty gritty, they're drowning in debt. Sad. Sad, 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 sad. Oh, the town is growing though. Lots of people from the coast coming in. Lots of coasters. Lots of people from the coast. Uh, the amount of people rolling in from the coast and young families starting up here is phenomenal. And everyone says the same thing I do. Oh, we came here because we wanted to start a family. It's impossible in a big city. And that's why the blue and uh, blue collar and white collar workers, a lot of them, especially the blue collar workers, they want to, uh, they, they want to have families. It's in their genes, you know? White collar workers are more um, business and or, uh, business and career driven, which is, which is, you could kind of understand, especially the women in the white collar force are more career driven and not too much family um, growth. But it is what it is, you know? Uh, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I'm here at the shop. I'm gonna go. Store's a best. 
Ooh, we're so busy yesterday. I'm gonna go clean up, get ready for the next wave of people coming today and hanging out, buying stuff and playing games and doing all kinds of stuff here. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. God bless you guys. God bless everybody. And uh, yeah, if you're in Merritt, come down and visit me here at the Merritt Toys and Games. Thanks for watching.